Okay, here I have my uh, eight channel Lorex system 4K that came with six cameras that I got from Costco uh, about about a year and a half, two years ago. And first year of having it was um, working decent, no issues. And then started to have issues um, about a year in with the camera um, going off. They would the cameras would just no no uh, signal in the app and checked checked all the connections everything seemed fine um it seemed like uh the unit was overheating that's why i got it kind of propped up to keep the the heat off of it the fans working everything was working it just would the system would just turn off and i tried different plugs different outlets um i have uh just the the adapter that came with it um it would get really hot and the unit would turn off um, after about, it would cycle about every 12 hours. Contacted Lorex, um, they helped me out a little bit. They ha helped me determine to, to swap the adapters. Um, after that, it, it helped a little bit. It seemed like it didn't happen as often, but it still was happening. Um, then I called Lorex again more troubleshooting. They wanted me to check all the connections at the cameras, which I highly doubt because the cameras were working fine. Um, what would happen is right at 8, 8.30 at night till about 5.30 in the morning, the cameras would actually turn off. There would be no signal. The unit would turn off, everything would turn off. Um, but the unit still had power. I could tell the lights were on. Um, so from talking to Lorex, they, the guy said, oh, check, check all your connections at the cameras, which it's not that easy. You got to get up in the attic, crawl through, go to each camera and check it. Um, and then what I figured out was from Lor talking to Lorex is he says when the cameras go to night vision, they use more power. So I noticed right about 830 when the, the sun starts to go down and all the cameras start to switch to night vision is when it went off. So what I did was I, I continued to use one adapter, power adapter for the unit and three of the cameras because the, the camera video and powers are on these Y cables, these Y cables here. So what I did was originally I had one that supplied everything, it had supplying the six cameras and the unit. So what I did was I unplugged um, the power that was put it, basically putting the Y series, the Y cables in series, and I added another power adapter. And once I did that, so it's a straight power adapter from there to the Y cable that's powering up uh, three of the cable, three of the cameras, and then this this power adapter that is supplying the other three that's teed into the unit. Once I did that, no issues. Um, it's been running fine, no cameras dropping off. So, and I even noticed that the plugs are way cooler than they were before. They were like almost hot to the touch. Like they were pretty hot. Um, so that basically fixed it, um, is just adding an additional power adapter uh, to the cameras, to the Y cables. Um, I will, uh, Put in the description of the the power cables that I am using the the specs on the amperage and voltage, um, but hopefully this helps someone. I had a bunch of issues and finally determined that the the issue is the power supply, the adapters.